everybody. Welcome to a summer 2014 SWAT review. My name is Kate, otherwise known as Narutaki. And I'm Alan, otherwise known as Hisui. We are from ReverseThieves.com. You can go there to get other SWAT reviews, as well as our monthly speakeasy podcast and three plus blog posts every week. This time we are looking at Tokyo ESP from Studio Zybeck and it is streaming on Funimation.com as well as Hulu. It's this story of like espers that have popped up in the world and they seem to almost be like mutants. It, it definitely had like an X-Men vibe to the first episode. There was no cable running around saying, for the future! <laughs> Next episode. <laughs> I see. That was in the preview, Al. Starts with this kind of League of Evil espers. They take over the, the Diet building and they actually remove it from the ground. It's floating high above Tokyo and all of this destruction starts happening in Tokyo. And they're like, dirty humans, we're taking over. Magneto sends out his brotherhood of evil espers to wreak havoc over the city. And sort of seems like to sort of prove their superiority and exert their authority over humanity. And within the city, though, there's like a whole bunch of divisions that we kind of get introduced to really quickly. There seem to be a like a special military unit that deals with espers that were in like orange uniforms and they have a brief battle with kind of the right hand of the main evil dude. She has like a teleport ability and, and she uses swords. Yeah, so yeah, she basically can teleport around and katana people. A lot of blood in this first episode. So so we're introduced to this team, this division, but then we also meet a couple of like kids, probably high school age, who, you know, know about this white girl. And white girl. <laughs> Like, I, you just, as an American, you just can't see that them saying white girl all the time without just laughing. I mean, and li- using all this weird inflection, which, you know, obviously they are not, but it's just too funny. But they seem to know about her, and a lot of people are, like, mentioning her, talking about her. She has saved people in the past, and she's an esper. And so we get sort of, like, the X-Men, like, the, the good espers start showing up nearer the end. Obviously evil Magneto guy, he is waiting for what girl to uh, pop up. And the two espers, they only have a little bit of future sight and object reading. They've obviously met her before and they mentioned that she's fought this guy's minions before. So she's on the side of right and but the thing is is that it's a it's an episode where you get like a lot of destruction, you get a lot of characters, you see that there's really this whole almost backstory with everybody, things have happened, which I liked. I really enjoyed that. But at the same time, Brinka, who is the main heroine of the series, she doesn't show up until like the last second of the episode and it's just like Basically, she just appears. Like, she doesn't do anything yet. And so, it's almost like you don't know if you like it or not. I mean, I thought, like, I enjoyed the setup of what was going on, and I'm just gonna keep calling it X-Men. I liked, I, of course I liked that, but then at the same time, if she's gonna be your heroine, you have to know, like, ah, well, she's gonna be the main character. Do I like her? Do, you know, how do I feel about her? Well, I don't know yet, so I feel like it's a wait and see kind of episode. Uh, not to bring up the manga too much, but I know you read chapter two of the original manga. How slow, I mean, this was obviously a rambunctious start, I mean, People, blood flying everywhere, the parliament building flying through the air, and we learn that they plan to basically make a big speech and then drop it in the middle of the city on some really, well, the girl who can read objects finds out they're playing by reading one of the objects of one of the basically Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. So obviously a big rollicking. Do you think it was smarter to start kind of height of uh, a big battle from somewhere later in the manga than where it originally started? or I- I actually think this will draw people in for a completely different reason than how they start the manga. And and I think, I guess I don't know how I feel about it because I've only read a very little bit of the manga, so I don't have a, you know, full opinion formed of that either. But the first chapter of the manga is really comical. Like, mm-hmm. and this is the complete opposite of that. There is no comedy I mean, I guess one of the evil characters is kind of like, you know, one of those psycho crazy characters who's like, hey, you know, like kind of joking around, but nobody finds it funny. 
But the first chapter of the manga is completely different. It's basically her awakening to her Esper power and like kind of hijinks that ensues because of like this change that comes over her. So yeah, it's a completely, totally different scenario. So I had no idea that, you know, that it was going to be like this serious almost like from that you would I, I had no idea so i don't know when that change occurs and also she meets a character who i think is sort of the co-tagonist in that chapter like kind of nearer the end and he didn't even appear in this episode yet either so i have no idea what and so actually i've gotten two different stories and i have no idea how they sync up yet because in this episode of anime she's been doing stuff she's been helping people she's been doing all this work within the city and people know that she's an expert and all that stuff and the first chapter of the manga is like her awakening for the first time to like having power so uh, part of me wonders if it started out as a comedy manga and they decided to push it more x many. i mean i know that that's generally how I mean, it's not Karen. like it was, like, a comedy, like, first manga. Mm. There was action in it, mm. but it seemed more, like, equal parts, mm. you know, like, more fun almost, than serious. I, want, I wonder if they just basically wanted, no, guys, for serious, there's gonna be, like, major stuff going on. And I, and that co- t- could totally happen, because I've only read one chapter, so, you know, I'm not disparaging either one for either, you know, because I don't really have an opinion. But I liked this first episode. I also liked the first chapter of the manga, so... All right. Um, but yeah, I just don't... I, you don't get a sense of your main character, and mm. it's... I don't know if it's an ensemble story. If it is, it's not as important. But if she is really like a huge focus, then we need to know more about her to yeah, decide whether learned, or not. Yeah, because we learned more about those two kids with like... And I liked them, right? And, and those two uh, people in the orange jumpsuit. Or at least we have some idea of what they can do. But yeah, my girl is still a mystery. <laughs> All right, see you guys next time.